now let us discuss about sql aggregate functions aggregate functions mainly performs calculations on a set of values and returns a single value so the name itself specifies the meaning aggregate means the operations will be performed on a, a large number of values and it returns a single value mainly there are five aggregate functions they are count sum average max min now let us discuss about all these aggregate functions one by one the first function is count function the name itself specifies the meaning count means it returns the count it returns the number of rows affected by that query so regarding the according to the query it returns the number of records or the number of rows or the number of tuples it returns number of rows that matches the specifying criteria so according to our condition it returns the number of rows let us see an example for this here we have a student table name of the table is student it contains mainly three columns roll number name marks totally we have seven records but the last record uh, name is vignesh and uh, the marks is null let us see the query here find number of rows so here we have to find how many rows are there totally we here we have seven rows are there now let us see the query select count of star star will gives all the rows present in the table from name of the table is student but here what is the problem here the problem is the last row contains null so this last row won't be considered it will be ignored so now we will get output as out of here totally we have seven records but the last row contains null so we will get output as only 7 minus 1 that is 6 so output is 6 why because the last row contains null so null that row won't be considered now let us see about sum function it returns sum of selected numeric columns so here sum function will be applied on numbers only and we have to apply sum function on a column a column okay let us let us perform here the column means rule number box let us perform sum on box column so let us see an example for this here we have one more example in the count find number of distinct box find the number of distinct box if you observe here 95 90 80 80 so here we have duplicate values so 80 means single value okay here we have duplicate values are there but we have to find out only distinct box so only 180 will be considered and likewise here also 70 70 so duplicate values are there so distinct means only one value will be considered so how many records are there first record second record out of these two records only one record will be considered out of these two only one will be considered here we have null so it will be ignored so distinct means only we will get output as 4 select count of distinct marks from the student so here we are displaying what distinct marks distinct marks so we'll get output as only four let us see the second example sum sum function so sum function will be applied on a numeric column okay let us find the sum find sum of the marks let us find the sum of the marks let us see the query select sum of here we are applying sum function on which column marks column from student table so now what will happen all these values will be summed we will get output as 485 95 plus 90 plus 80 plus 80 plus 70 plus 70 is equal to 485 we will get output as 485 let us see one more example find distinct sum of the marks here we have to find only distinct sum okay let us see the query select sum of here we need to apply some function on distinct marks only different marks distinct marks from the student so distinct means different so now what will happen 95 90 out of these two 80s only 180 will be considered out of these two 70s only 170 will be considered if we add 95 90 80 and 70 we will get 335 as the output now let us see the next function that is average function it is useful in order to perform average operation on on a selected numeric column average function will also be applied on numbers okay so select let us perform the average operation so select average of mocks here we are performing average operation on which column marks column from the student table now what will happen these values will be summed by total number of rows are 6 so 335 by 6 means some value 
so six six fives are thirty. Next to three, three means six fives are thirty. So fifty five point we will get some value. So totally we have six rows are there. Uh, this is nothing but distinct marks. Here we have to perform operation on this marks. So four eighty five by six means six uh, eights are forty eight. Uh, we will get approximately eighty eighty point uh, likewise values. Okay, and the last two are max and min. So by using max function we can perform maximum number. We can uh, we can by using max function we can calculate maximum number on a specific column. So here also we can perform max operation on numbers. So we can write the function as select max of marks from the student. So what is the maximum marks? Ninety five. So we will get ninety five as the output. And the last one is min. So it returns minimum of selected numeric column. Let us perform min operation on the marks. So select min of marks from the student. So it will return seventy as the output. Okay. So in this way we can uh, use aggregate functions. Totally we have five functions are there: count function, sum function, average function, max function, min function. So count function returns number of rows according to the criteria. Various sum function returns um, sum of that column. Next average function returns the average value of that column. Max function returns maximum value of that column. Min function returns minimum value of that column.